Now listening to the In My Opinion podcast, the home of edutainment, brought to you by Sakali, DTM, and Uzuma. So get your drinks, snacks, relax, and enjoy. Yo, it's your boys at the In My Opinion podcast. Welcome come on, back. Come Welcome on, back. come on. Yeah, yeah. Hope you're feeling good. Hope you're feeling well. We've got a good episode in store for you today. As always. But before we go further, just to introduce ourselves, I'm your boy Sukali, aka Melinda the Fourth. DT Don't Talk, aka Designated Driver. It's your boy Uzoma. Any other Uzoma is a counterfeit. You, you can tell, tell by, by their the outfit. outfit. You know? Come on. What's the outfit check saying today? I see you looking calm. This is a new jacket. Same old. This is man. definitely a new jacket, bro. I've never seen this one. Where's this Same one? Same old, bro. Huh? You don't want to share your sources. Nah, fam. Fake Same news. Old. Fake news. All right, I'm giving you a five out of ten today, then. That's fine, man. I man think it's like five. I'm giving no nah, for, 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 for the fact for the lack of <laughs> for the gatekeeping. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I'm getting the five out of ten. Trying to not trying to share the source. <laughs> How are you, man? Doing, man? What's this week saying for you, lot? Yeah, man. Same mode, same mode. It's been all right, you know. Yeah. It's been calm. Yeah, man. It's been all right until now. Well, no, it's not, it's not a good week mm. for your boy. How about you, I've, though? I've How's been, your week I've been? I've been censored, so... <laughs> Who's censoring you? <laughs> I'm being censored. I feel By like who? Censored. You feel like you've been censored. <laughs> I'm joking, man. I'm joking. No, but the week's, the week's going well. Got my hair done. You know when you feel good? When your hair's mm. looking good? Looking fresh, though. Mm. You take tell. the long drive home, you know? Mm. Give me uh, a fiver, man. I even went Croydon just for just... You know how far Croydon is? To do what? Just to show people their new hairstyle. What are you people? What are you the think? people? The, the, the pedestrians. In Croydon? In Croydon. Of all places? All windows down. Music blazing. Guy. So they could see the rub <laughs> twist that I've done. <laughs> <laughs> well, you went dressed like this. Uh, wow. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying oh, it is. <laughs> The outfit would have been the more focused than wow. the hair. No, I'm wow. just saying. Now, did you wear this hair with this, 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 this bro. cloth? No, no, I'm just asking. Well, I was not wearing this. Uh, what color is this? I think it's a mauve. A mauve. 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 I don't know. People can confirm online, but I think it's a mauve. It's mustard or something, isn't it? Yeah, mustard. mustard. Yeah, mustard. Mustard, 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 mustard. reaches. But, um, so you don't like the outfit? No, I just asked whether this is what you wore with the hair. Is it because I'm not, I'm wearing sliders? You can't imagine the full fit. Is that, is that No, but I'm just asking, is this what you wore I with the hair? I was not wearing this. Oh, the two things look a bit tight, though. <laughs> I just hope when I start my critiques, <laughs> no one takes it personal. That's, That's what I'm right, saying. Right. I hope we can go around like I said. What comes around goes around, eh? It always does. Okay. What do you mean? No problem. It always does. We always no get problem. Each other. But not, but you calm, man. You're not that bad, man. You're very colourful. It's calm. Mm. It's calm. It's calm. People always hating on my drip. You know, ain't nothing to it. Let's move on. <laughs> <laughs> so I saw a question online, yeah, on Twitter. Go on. It's called X, but I'm always going to call it Twitter because X just makes it sound like yeah, a porno Yeah, bro, I know that, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man was on X. You're going to immediately X. assume that. That's yeah. other X. <laughs> no, I'm talking about Twitter, right? And Twitter. It said, what is the most brokest thing a person has ever done around you that made you so, I cannot be with this person or be around this person? So it could be a friend, it could be a family member, but the brokest thing. I can start if you want. Go on. Why you lot are thinking? Because mm. uh, I feel like you, you have something. Of course I had When I saw the tweet, I was like, no, nah, I've got to ask the man. Yeah, please. go on, go on, go on. <laughs> so I was dating this girl, yeah. Mm-hmm. And if you lot know me, you know I love cooking, right? I, yeah. So this girl bought bear. Like, she was like, oh, I'm going to cook for you. Like, you're always cooking for everyone. Da, 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 I'm going to come cook for you. And she came to my house, bought bare ingredients. We had like a proper date night. It was cute, man. It was cute. Wow. I believe she cooked her lamb shank. Mm. Uh, broccoli lamb stem. Shank. Stem broccoli. You know, it's different from wow, your normal yeah, broccoli. Yeah, yeah, that one's yeah, yeah, yeah. expensive. Mm. Yeah, stem broccoli. Uh, there was a nice garlic mash. Now, I know that sounds very easy, but this proper... No, garlic mash. Oh, bro, it bangs, that yeah. nice. Mm. Dessert everything. Kakati, uh, we are there. We've enjoyed our food. We're Netflixing. Who's, we're who's chilling. Yard was you at? My yard. Your yard. Okay. We're Netflix. We're chilling. We're doing everything. We also go and play our football match. Mm. Oh, you played? Football? Oh, we played football. Oh, wow. Hey, yes. Mm. Home game. Home game. <laughs> Did you win? Uh, of course. You won. Patrick Hero. Patrick <laughs> Hero. <laughs> <laughs> I hear that. So yeah. after we enjoyed the love corridor, mm-hmm. you know now. By the way, this is many years back, so don't judge me. But you know those days. You, you want your peace. Mm. You want to sleep alone. Mm. After we finish How love. many years ago was this? Doesn't matter. <laughs> 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 After Love Corridor, I said, yo, like, it's time to go kind of thing. Oh, so yo, yo, yeah, yeah. mad. Yeah, those were the days. I'm sorry. Those were back nice in the days. I was like, that. I was like yo, 
time to leave, yeah. I didn't say it like that. There was a way I said it. She wasn't offended. Well, did you say like you got something to do in the morning? <laughs> yeah, you don't know what I got to wake up early in the morning. Da, 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 da. Mm. Anyway, long story short, Van Nang, as she's packing up her overnight bag, why am I seeing her pack onions, the potatoes, about? the seasoning, everything wait, she wait, brought wait, like, to. So the, the leftovers. The leftover ingredients. Use. She packed it all to take home. That's mad. And I was like, you're taking half cut onions. That's <laughs> crazy. Potatoes that's already been opened. Uh? Even the wine. You know, them days I wasn't drinking wine, yeah. but she bought mm. wine. We didn't finish it. She also took the bottle. Mm. I don't blame her, though. That one I didn't care about. I feel like you didn't read between the lines. Which was what? She was probably planning to stay over. Uh -huh. The fact that he kicked her out. She's taking those ingredients to her next man's yard to, <laughs> <laughs> to run it back. <laughs> to get her, her return on investment. Yes, to run it back. I'm joking, no, no, that's bad. That's bad. But at the same time, did you, did you not ask her that? Yo, be like, no, you, know, you know my pride. Ingredients? That's one thing I inherited from my dad that I regret is my pride. It sometimes goes against my own benefit. Are you trying shit? I feel like you just want her to leave. And you didn't want to give any reason as to why. No, but I was very shocked because this was someone that was in the beginning stages of dating. We could see where we were going. I was like, if you have this kind of mentality, and there was other things I won't go into today. But that's kind of good, though. Don't you want a woman like that? Mm -mm. Clearly, she'll save you money. Nah, 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 nah. Come on, man. That's broke boy mentality. <laughs> Am I the if only the, one okay, if the wrong? roles were reversed, how would it look? You're a broke boy. Ah, okay then. No, but that's you, though. Who cooked? She cooked. I told you she cooked everything. Well, there you go. Then maybe she had no food at home. <laughs> and like, oh, Baking I can't news. believe, I can't believe I did. I cooked this. Who's the, who's the broke person this. in this situation? But nine. Huh? I don't judge no one, so I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> that that is a mad one, though. Nah, I feel like that's a mad. Do you have any? I think the only one I could think of was um when I can't remember who I went out. I went out a couple of my guys. One Say time. their name. You don't. Have <laughs> 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 if I'm among, let me know so I can change my ways. <laughs> Uh -huh. So I went out with a couple <laughs> of my guys. We had a VIP section. was tearing it up. Uh -huh. Listen, as usual. <laughs> popping bottles, all of that stuff. Uh -huh. And the night was over. We're leaving. Didn't one of the guys that we was with, one of my guys took the um, bottle home. It snuck the bottle out. <laughs> I was like, Oh, wow. so you're at me, yeah? Oh, is it you? Okay, all right. Was let me you? explain context. This guy, you're so childish for this. Bro, you're so I'm childish confused. for this. You, wait, you asked the man them a question, <laughs> and that was the only one that could come to my head because that was, I, until then, I'd never seen that been done before. <laughs> Do you know what? That was my first time as well. <laughs> 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 of my life. All right, what happened was it was the O2. We went to watch someone. Who was it? Was it Bernard? Was it Future? So. One of them. He, he embarrassed my life. <laughs> yeah. Let me tell you, wait, wait, this no, one. No, no, okay. No, no but I gotta tell my part afterwards. Yeah, though. you will, bro. Do you know how long I've been going to <laughs> VIP boxes? Yeah, sweets at the O2 fam. Man does the sky backstage thing. Man was like, what? I'm like, what does he do? Is he You're a football player? Is this. it, bro? The whole gang was rolling in like with some VVVIPs in that. Mm -hmm. Shut the whole place down everywhere. Mm -hmm. Bottles are flowing. I had the O2 box sweets. Uh -huh. End of the night. Imagine one of one of your one of your boys <laughs> you came with to show him the life. <laughs> Clearly. Wow. <laughs> Clearly. First of all, he got that was on my first box. I Don't saw this that. guy took, you put the ball underneath your yeah. I was like, okay. is this guy playing a game? Until we got outside, the man pulled the ball out. So like, you actually stuck the ball out. <laughs> <laughs> One thing about me, yeah, you should know is I've really learned to take accountability. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I will put my hand up and say I did that. I'm guilty. <laughs> yeah. But can I explain the reason behind it? God. I was lit. Lit. Yeah. I was so we, we was lit. lit. Yeah. Lit, I can't remember, I feel like it was future. I was it lit. Might have been still. We had lit. bought too many bottles. Yeah. It was lit. You lot are lucky I didn't take the other ones. <laughs> <laughs> I, I just feel like you took the one that you I liked. I took one, which was the Henny. I said, yeah, like, I think it was the Henny. It yeah. hurt me <laughs> to leave this bottle knowing these men are going to throw it away. Fact. So I felt I was doing my bit for the environment. Environment. Yeah. And for <laughs> climate change. Yeah. Because it is real. Yeah. <laughs> I said, let me take this bottle home because I would drink it. What did you think O2 was going to do with the bottle? <laughs> They're gonna throw, throw it away. Outside. They're gonna throw it away, bro. <laughs> They're gonna throw it away. That I did, is I, funny. You know, I take that. If that's the brokest thing you've happened around you. Was that your you. first time? No, no, no I'm, I'm pretty sure I've witnessed other brokes, yeah. but that was the only one I could come up with yeah, right yeah, now that yeah. just come to my head because uh -huh. I couldn't believe it. <laughs> no, but to be fair though, 
what you it, what actually showed me, I didn't even know you could do that. Even me, I didn't know. That I was just the said, first time you when you done that. I'm like, wow, so you can actually take bottles out of places. I believe my Caucasian brothers call it Dutch courage. Dutch courage. Mm. Yes. <laughs> when you are intoxicated like the Dutch. You mm. definitely had a lot of it you that night. And that night, I just said, if they stop me, I said, oh, my bad. Oh, you I just, didn't I, know you could do this. Because <laughs> in Uganda, we can take bottles. <laughs> <laughs> Which we did, by the way. <laughs> Which we did in Uganda we as did, well. We so did, forgive we me. Forgive me. That's no, broke that mentality. Let fun. me know in the comments. That was Uzi, fun. do you have any broke people around you? Huh? Everyone around you is rich. Wow. Not rich, but they're good, man. I don't have no broke people around me. Fake news. They're there. <laughs> man, they're there. They're there. They are there. <laughs> Everyone there. has someone that does. I don't, I don't bit, have no one. I can't, I can't think of anyone. Okay, cool, man. That well, I fun. thought that was... A, that question, when I saw it online... That was I was like... Yeah, let me bring that up. But anyway, let's move on. Don't Google it. Yeah. Yeah, I'm are ready. Are y'all ready for this one? Yeah. I hope you'll have done some reading and big that, man yeah. thing, like I proper do general knowledge quiz every now and then just yeah. for don't Google it. Yeah. You're lying. I, that's what, that's, you. a, that's okay. a brush up. Not just for don't Google it, it's also for the pub quiz at work. But Oh, you love the pub quiz at yeah, work. Yeah, you know what? Mm. I love a little pub quiz. <laughs> <laughs> All right, cool. Um, just bear with me. Every week, I'm dumbing it down more and more. Man said, dumbing it down. Yeah, yeah. What are you trying to say? Man, I'm not stupid out man here, bro. Man, struggle, bro. Nah, 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 nah. But it's only for these lot, but I know the audience at home, they be killing nah, it. Nah, But anyway, this on, is let's it. go. Don't Google it. Let's get it, yeah? First question. What household appliance uses the most electricity? Do you know one, do you know one, um... Iron. The multiple choice? Iron. 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 Mm. No, no, I wouldn't have said I am. Because it's not always on. Think. Oh, wait, is this nuanced? I don't know. If oh, you don't know? Okay. It's just a straight up question. Oh, is that right? Did you get it right? No, that's incorrect. Okay. I'm going to say... Probably wash washing the machine. fridge, because it's always on. No? So you think it's the refrigerator? No, I don't think it's something that's always on. All right, let me give you mm. like, the multiple choice. Let me give you like, Put your hands down. You're not participating. Look guy's at this guy's struggling already. <laughs> so that's wrong, basically. Uh, no, yeah, it's, of course. <laughs> So obviously we have um which will probably be easier for you lot now, mm -hmm. now that I'm gonna give you the mob. A is refrigerator. Obviously, you got that one wrong. Uh, B uh -huh. dishwasher. C heating and cooling. Heating. And then D electric oven. Hmm. So I'll give you like one more try each. I'm obviously. gonna say electric oven. Because not everyone yeah. has a dishwasher. Mm -hmm. Heating and cooling. Final answer? Final answer. Final answer? Heating and cooling. That's <sighs> one. For that. So again, you lot save money out here. Cost of living. Mm. Mm? So but it makes sense. Yeah. What, with heat. a boiler, does it say with what? It just says heating and cooling. Heating and cooling. Okay, that's cool. what, that's, I think it's pretty much anything to do. If you've got AC or you have a um, heater in the house, especially during winter time, mm. it's a madness, bro. Okay. So yeah, so that's the number one. And bearing in mind, all the, um, apart from refrigerator, but remember fridge, they have grades. Ah, uh, yeah, so yeah. So they're quite, it could, they can be economical they quite depending be on which one you're buying. Yeah, so but all the other appliances are not used at all time. Wow, okay. All right, then. Moving on smoothly, swiftly. All right, name the number one reason why non-EU nationals migrate to the UK. While, why non-EU nationals migrate to the UK. So I'm not no country from no one from Europe. So I'm not talking about people coming into the UK from Europe. So it'll be all other parts of the world. I world. believe they're economic migrants. I need one. To get a job. What do you say? Jo to get a job. Job? What's yours? I was probably gonna say the same thing. Mm. Jobs in it. Job as well? Yeah. All right. You could participate too. All right, what is it? Shout out from back there. Ooh. And guess what? Productions got it right. Yeah, yeah. I forgot about that word. Study. Mm. So Europe, so EU mm -hmm. is for jobs. Okay. So they say. But then, um, yeah, other parts of the world is for studying. For but study. let's be honest. We know it's for work, isn't it? Yeah, they <laughs> study to get a job. But, but, <laughs> but when you look at the application, it's always it's education. Always study, is like yeah. It's the mm. easiest route to come through. Coming okay. Through, isn't it? But yeah, but it's education. Yeah, study. Um... Mm, let me see. Okay, number three. Name the top three most multicultural cities around the world. Top three. So I'll start with Uzi. Yeah, you go I first. I don't think I should be right for getting this. I don't travel as much as you, man, bro. So I don't know. Yeah, just, I, I take don't three, know. I, just I take a guess. I don't think I know this one at all. But just city. My, my take brain a guess. Is, 
My brain, that Marvin should know this. What are you doing? Oh shit! I wasn't. I swear to you, I'm not even Googling. I'm not even Googling. I swear to you, my bad, my bad. Red handed. My bad, my bad. I'm not even. On the black magic. I was not Googling. No, I wasn't Googling, bro. I was trying to check something else. I apologize. Um, but top three cities, I'd probably say definitely London. Around the world, yeah. Yeah, London London London. is very multicultural. New York. Okay. And (laughs) what's why is he getting angry? Because the man, the man just love. I don't know. I don't know. London, and I think Birmingham actually. Birmingham might be there. You know. He said c- around the world. City in the world. The city, you mentioned bro. entire world. What? You're naming two out of the entire world is Brother, in the UK. I don't know much about cities and their multiculturalism, but I know Paris, New York. Is Paris in there? No. Nah, nah. Paris, the way they treat black people. What? Do they <laughs> live there? I don't believe <laughs> they live there. Nah. Production manager, you want to try? That's all I got, man. London, Birmingham, New York. London, Birmingham, New York. Those are all incorrect. But um, do you want to try? No, no tries, no tries. Let's give us the answer, man. Toronto. Oh, That's number one. Houston then you have um Sydney. Sydney. Yeah. Black people in Sydney. Apparently, yeah. Fake news. Fake news. <laughs> and then Singapore. Singapore. Yeah. <laughs> Black people in Singapore. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> To be fair, it's probably Nigerian. Because you know you lot <laughs> will go anywhere. Nah, Big Mad Tin, there was a friend the other day. And they were talking about how... Name the wildest uh, mixes you've seen, mm. countries-wise. And someone told me half Serbian... Sorry, someone tweeted half Serbian, half Nigerian. Yeah, yeah, no, 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 no. No, no, no that's not right. mixing. Nigeria. Nigeria, they've mixed with... The you guys are everywhere, of, there's bro. A, there's a, there's a um, half Nigerian and a half indigenous um, something. I can't remember. I think that's a <laughs> what, like, o- like Australian indis- indigenous. Yeah, I think something... Ma- you know those, that, that tribe that just, d- like, bro, That Google man are it, still shooting arrows. <laughs> yeah, literally. <laughs> I don't know how my man managed to get there <laughs> and make someone fall in love with him in that tribe and them not kill him. I don't know how. I don't know how, but... That one Imagine. I rated if you like. I think it's, it's, it's our mouth. Half you can Serbian. Talk anything. Yeah, that's me. Serbian. That's nah. Crazy. That's what I knew. Nigerians, yeah, they're kings. Yeah, they're but actually, so London is actually number nine. Wow. Yeah. So clearly it shows you about how much we travel, isn't it? That is mad. Um, Actually, so last one. I'll give you the last one here. Okay. Let me see. Ooh. Oh, now I want to do two because there's two, two other two. I think they're really good. All right, number four, let's say, name the cheapest supermarket in the UK. This is an easy one. You're only allowed one answer tries cheapest. each. I don't want no one to start mentioning bare names. The name cheap, one. Supermarket. One, the first one that comes to your mind. U- um, Sukali, go. Iceland. Okay, thank you. No, it's not Iceland, but Audi. Thank you. Um, production. It's not Iceland. Iceland is huh? expensive. Lidl. All right then. So that's not everything. Is only guess one what? Pound, it's probably pounds. one super Boom. Audi. 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 Wow. Iceland is number cheap, one, bro. followed by Lidl, obviously. No, nah, I wish I was gonna say Audi, no, but Iceland I is expensive, trick question. bro. Yeah, I don't think. But Iceland. you know, as I always see one pound, like yellow you know what signs, Iceland the one do? pound. They're very sick at their branding. Mm. Like they do this big in bold red, red and yellow. It makes you feel like they're doing everything on sale, but mm. it ain't. But I'm <laughs> surprised you, you didn't mention Audi, bro. No, so it's actually Iceland. It's Audi, Lidl, Morrison's, and so on and so forth. Mm-hmm. So, um, so again, cost of living. If you wanna, you know, you lot start, yeah, switch over to Audi and stuff. Okay. Um, or unless I think oh, a lot of the supermarkets are doing this club card stuff now, Dev. Yeah, club card, Bugging price it. match, all that. They are but Bugging they'll never it. beat Audi, bro. Nothing, bro. Some of Tesco's um club card thing is mad. Now the Tesco club card thing is mad, but I pretty much the way I see it is you're not. It's too. It's too much to think about. So you're going there to price match. You start looking. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's long. Yeah, it's long. It's not gonna work. Mm. I don't think. All right. Lastly, lastly, what does S O S stand for? S O S. Please. You all have it everywhere. You've got in your car. As soon as you look on top of that, where the rear view mirror, there's that S O S. S O S is everywhere, bruv. What does it stand for? Secret original signal. Secret original. You just made that shit. I did. Original. Why is it original? I don't know. Is there a lot of counterfeits? It's the original secret, yeah. There's a lot of counterfeits. <laughs> you can tell by the outfit. <laughs> that is so stupid. Yeah, I don't know it, bro. Secret original. Signal. Signal. Fucking incorrect. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's something to do with cooling, bro. Yeah, signal. That's why I put signal S-O-S. in there. S-O-S. See someone. Else. That's what I was in the Rihanna song. Yeah. Come on, mate. You're allowed to pass, but I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Give up. 
production, you want to help them out? You give up. This guy only wanted to answer one question that he knew. Anyways, <laughs> <laughs> um, so you don't want the long answer or the short? Short. You sure? Mm. So it actually doesn't stand for nothing. <laughs> <laughs> so we're both right. <laughs> Not really, because you lot gave up. You gave up. Okay, do you want to add context? I guess that's so the that's what I asked you. Yeah, answer. yeah. There you go. Um, okay. So many think SOS stands for save our souls or save our ship, but it actually mm. doesn't stand for anything. SOS is a Morse code distress signal. Morse mm. code is a system that uses dots, mm. dashes, and spaces to communicate letters and numbers. Yeah. Morse code is like what they use in uh, World War. Them, them war stuff, isn't it? Yeah, talk yeah. about to exchange mm. secrets. To, yeah, <laughs> yeah, they go to communicate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. See, better dots. Yeah, yeah. That's a good one. Oh, well done. Don't go. So for today, who's the winner? I feel like... Uh, so I don't know, man. Who's no, he? Yeah, got one. didn't get none. I didn't he get got none. two. I got none. Yeah, he well done. smoked you, man. Well done, champion. Finally, but I mean, to be fair, you've been winning for a minute. So that's good. Sometimes you gotta help out your brothers, man. Give them a win. Oh, you know what wow. I mean? I knew all those answers. Oh, so that you yeah. gave oh, you knew I knew SOS I knew didn't you knew. mean nothing. Yeah, man. you knew I, that, <laughs> innit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. For you. A very nice guy. Very, you're very commendable. Yeah, yeah. I care. That's good. That's good. Uh, I sound like all right, cool. <laughs> Should we get into the dilemma then? Go on. Okay. This one is is uh definitely one for the mandem. Yeah. But it'll be interesting to hear from the ladies Look, as this well. Look, this is my this is my finger to everyone now that tries to piss me off. <laughs> Ah, it's that's funny, isn't it? Oh, let me not even say anything. That is so before, funny. But it is very nice. It's funny. Yeah, yeah. I can't tell you what I saw, but what I saw was funny. <laughs> 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 All right. <clears throat> hey, this guy's people. already laughing. This one sounds juicy. <sighs> <sighs> My best friend wants me to go to jail yeah. so he can raise his children. Wait, 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 pause. Oh, My pause. best friend wants me to go to jail so he can raise his children. Mm. Okay, proceed. Maybe he's the one stopping him from raising his kids. I don't know. <laughs> but we move. So, I've been best friends with my boy since nursery, but mm. we are both now 29. Wow. From what I knew, he was into criminal activity, but a couple of years back, he left the game hmm. to be a good dad to his two twin sons, who are both three. Nice. Mm -hmm. He was selling drugs. Ah, stuff a lot. Up and down the country. How dare he? I've never agreed with his lifestyle, but coming from where I'm from, I understood the reasons behind him taking this route. Mm -hmm. mm, we understand. We have many of them, mm -hmm. by the way. Uh, on this day, we had gone to celebrate his son's sad birthday, mm -hmm. and I'd stayed behind to help him clean, leaving my miss out. Miss, eh, my miss, eh, how do you I say that? I live my miss out. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, I'm trying to think how you say it in a Ugandan accent. He says, my missus. Mrs. How do you say? How do you say? How do you say Mrs. in Uganda? Uh, I know you have Jaja. You have um, Muchala. Muchala. Mm. Hey, left is Chambala. Leaving my Muchala. That's Chambala. To drive home without me, as I would go with him. On our way home, we got pulled over by the police. Jeez. But as this is a no more occurrence, I thought nothing of it. <laughs> no more occurrence. By the way, as black boys, I know. You we know, get, how it goes. we get pulled over a lot. We get pulled over a lot. When was the last time you got pulled over? It contradicts what you just said. <laughs> <laughs> so do you want to continue with that? <laughs> <laughs> Let me continue. <laughs> okay. Um, so we, <laughs> we couldn't even lie to fit the narrative. <laughs> I should, I should I'm have been like, on the way here. I don't know why I'm so terrible at lying. Bro, you should have said, know, on sorry, the way here, man sorry, got pulled sorry, over. That's sorry. why I was late. Fake sorry. news. Sorry, bro. Sorry. Anyway, got pulled over. Thought nothing of it. <clears throat> Until they asked to search us as the car, sorry, until they asked us to search, uh, until they asked to search us and the car, I started to get very worried. Mm -hmm. They then proceeded to say, this car has been linked to criminal activity. Ay, ay, ay. Long story short, they found a weapon. Oh my gosh. In the glove compartment and drugs in the underside. Gee. We both got arrested and spent more than 36 hours in custody. Imagine. Long story short, we both went no comment and now have been charged with possession of a firearm and drugs with intent to supply. Mad. I have begged my friend to admit what he has done, but he's saying we should both go no comment and take our chances at trial, as neither of our prints were found on the items. He is also saying he cannot go back to jail and miss out raising his children, but I also have a life, and I'm not willing to throw it all <sighs> away for him. Should I snitch on my friend? <laughs> 
Mm. What an ending. What an ending. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not taking... This is mad. This is Unless someone else go first this time. This is very mad. This is unbecoming. Lucy, we are <laughs> in a car with your rich friends. You said you have no broke yeah. friends. <laughs> what the, the trappers. Mm. The steppers. Mm. Some monkey on me, man. <coughs> what are you doing? Are you snitching? Are you not? And your reasons... I bet he has to do the right thing, but... <laughs> but he has refused. Yeah, he's refused. He has to do the right thing, bruv. But he's refused. Nah, bruv. Something, something's going to go left, fam. He has to do the right thing. <laughs> I love how you're using right and left. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing is going right or left. He has to, bro. He has to. Uh, you got to realize... No, but he's saying he's not doing it. He's not doing it. Yeah, then some, something's going to have to go left, bruv. I can't <laughs> what really is going left? <laughs> to our people Something, that something is going to happen to him, bro. Is but it? you're both this in your, jail. This is your best no, you're friend. You're not in jail. Bro. No, no, no. They, 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 they've been released. You're out on oh, they've been released on bail. Yeah, you're probably yeah, out on okay, bail. Okay, yeah, okay, okay, something's okay. going to happen to him, bro. <laughs> what, like, are we talking like unaliving? Because you got to remember. Yeah. <laughs> like, listen, right? listen. Where are you listen, someone <laughs> died? Yeah. Listen. Are we just going to threaten? You got to remember, yeah, this is like different rules apply to different people, innit? You understand? If you're not allowed about a certain life, then you're you're allowed to talk how you want to talk. Mm-hmm. So like it's not, space, yeah, it's not down a snitching like if you're not about that. That's, that's not my. So I don't. I'm not governed by any rules by or regulation. Rules. You understand? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is someone just living a life, just happen to have friends that are. Do you understand? So, like, yeah. So I, if if they spoke, mm -hmm. I wouldn't. I wouldn't hold them accountable because do you know what I'm saying. Like, okay, I've told I you do you. the right thing. You're not doing the right thing. So <laughs> that rules doesn't apply to me. Do you understand? Do you know what? Yeah, there needs to actually be a, a, I think, a bigger conversation around things like this. Yeah. Because yeah. I'll tell because you the reason why. Yeah, I feel mm. like people, like, you know, growing up where we all grew up from, a lot of a lot of black boys and stuff like that will probably have a similar story growing mm. up where, you know, areas deprived area and stuff like that. Yeah. I feel like sometimes it's like a gift and a curse because sometimes, even though you chose, you grew up in that environment, but you chose not to get involved in that lifestyle. You mm -hmm. went the, the long route, let me work, let me study, or let me do whatever it is and try, and you know, play the long game, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? And now you're almost affected by the same rules mm -hmm. that's governed by the street, guys, because naturally, because let's be real, if he snitched now, mm -hmm. The whole the way they right. the they'll be looking at him like, yo, you snitched, didn't it? You'd have to move and out all of that right. really and the only thing that qualified him to have that kind of jacket on him is because of where they all grew up. Mm -hmm. Because if I grew up in like the suburbs, like nice middle class area, all of that <laughs> kind of stuff. I'm not gonna care. Do you know what I mean? I'm yeah. working out, I don't care. Mm. But because he naturally grew up in that environment, they all grew up together automatically. And then me personally, if you ask me, I don't agree with that. And I think that's where, for me, to a degree, I might have to go with Uzi on this. Mm. Yeah, it's because for me, you said you were snitch, right? What do you mean I said? You said you were snitch. What, were, yeah, what, what do you mean? I'm saying I'm giving. A, what do you mean that I said? No, I you said yeah, what, what, what are you doing? doing? I yeah. gave. I, I haven't said what I would do. I'm saying I understand. I'm not going to say what I would do because I'm not in that situation. Is, is no, are you going to snitch? Yes. yes. You're snitching. I'm yes. snitching. So you, you can and I'm going to tell you the reason not why. Me. No, I don't care. I didn't tell. At I, the end of the bro, day, I'm if, telling him he's got to do the right thing. What? No, but bro, listen, if a man, <laughs> let me show you something here. Mm. If I've gone against all odds that's been set out for me to trip me mm. and make me go along a certain path, Mm -hmm. which is down the path of gang, drugs, dealing, all of that kind of stuff. And I've chosen not to do any of that, you know, regardless of all the stuff that's been put in my way. I went the long route, and now I've come out on the other side. I've got a career, I've got a job, I've got a family, now I've got kids. Just because I now chose to make you still be close with you, even though you're on that side, like, that don't mean now you should now pull me down. Mm. At the end of the day, yeah, bro, listen... Um, you're not, and again, like, bro, and it's sad because you can't say they're not best friend because... They're not really brethren, though. No, that's what I'm going to say. The, the, here's the reason why I would normally say that. If you would that. do that, you're not my no, brethren. I hear what you're saying, but so I would normally... So the rules are, they don't apply no more. I get what you're saying, but the reason why I'm going to kind of not jump out the window and say, oh, they're not brethren is because, bro, they've been boys since nursery, nursery bro. Yeah. So there are situ you can't tell me they're not a situation where you can literally be best friend with somebody, but you know they have a side to them, yeah? that 
might not even align with yours. Just your just morals, yeah. Your morals, yeah. But because you grew up, like, you just gone, gone together for so long. They get that loyalty pass. Do you know what I mean? They get that pass. Mm. And then, and, for, and that's the reason why people say to you, yeah, be careful the kind of people you hang around with because True. only one day they will drag you down. Right. So that's what I'm trying to say. I'm not necessarily going to say they're not best friends because, bro, look at the years they got in together. So, yes, they're best friends. However, there's a moral um, issue there where clearly my man don't have that issue. And especially, you know, like, you can be best friends with someone and he can be jealous of you. Mm -hmm. Do you understand what I'm talking about? Yeah, like, yeah, yo, yeah, 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 like, yeah. How come yeah. he's managed to... How come to, he made it? And then I'm still, you know what? I'm F still here plugging, get, plugging get, drugs up then, by a rear you know end. I mean? yes. And then this is probably like my third strike. And then you're telling me I'm probably going in for like, what? And then you're just going to go out there and live... To that again, you talk about the, the, the fine line between love and hate. I didn't think right? about that. No, think about it. Talking about the fine line between love and hate, where it's like there's that jealousy that I think it's even worse then. Because mm. you're my best. Like, you know, when you're so close with someone sometimes, yeah, it's almost like it's easier for resentment and stuff to sip in mm. just because of that closeness. Yeah, it's yeah, almost yeah. like we grew up together. So now my life should just go and then you're just gonna, nah, man, we need to ride this together. <laughs> we ride together, you're we yeah, die together. The, you know Bad I mean? boys for life. Bad boys for life. <laughs> but this time, I didn't, I didn't sign up for that. <laughs> I didn't sign up for that, bro. So <laughs> guess what? I don't care for my family's sake. Yeah. It's different if man don't have no family and then I'm just trying but to... Have, he doesn't have out. kids, though. He doesn't have... But, no. then, but said is my friend doesn't want me to raise my kids. Isn't that what they're starting? No, no. The, the person that is about to go in with him, he don't have no kids. Yeah. So what, but what was your opening statement? The, f the person that is the owner of the car, which they found the drugs, he's got two kids. He's got twins. I the know person that he's rolling got kids. with him, my brethren ain't got no kids. Yeah. So he wants him to go jail. <laughs> So so like, the one, the one that's written this thing, he's the one, he ain't got kids. He ain't got no. kids. So, and he's the one that's on the straight and narrow yeah. part. Yeah. But what I'm saying, what was the statement at the start that you read out, though? My friend wants me to go to jail so, so, he can, can raise, so, so he can, can raise, raise his kids. kids. Or so he can raise his yeah. kids. How does that, they're both going to get charged. That don't make no sense. <laughs> no, I think, you know... No, but they're going to be, if, if they both um, plead like, if they both say, yo, it's not mine, if they both do no comment, they're both going to get charged for that. More so even the friend no, because you it's know the what I think yeah, this is probably come from an angle of the way that person is started it is probably they've had conversations, mm. right? And it's just more like, yo man, like I can't say it was me, like I got kids to to raise, like yeah. you know what I'm saying. All so right, so you don't, yeah. you don't get that much time. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. Okay, let me explain. Yeah, you yeah. So explain. listen, all right, cool. We've both been charged for something now, yeah. Two yeah. things. Mm -hmm. We either go no like no um, comment. No comment and go to trial with this case, mm -hmm. and then potentially we can both bust the case, bust the case. or yeah, we're yeah, both that's going true. down. Okay, right? I see what you mean. So okay, I've yeah, kind yeah, of yeah. spoken to you like, yo, i got a lot to lose, man. I've got kids. Like, let's mm. just go through all the way and take the chance. And the then chances. let's take the chance. I get you what, what I'm saying. Take it to trial. But that's why he's saying that. It's like, basically, what? You want man to sacrifice? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I get it. I get it. Because of the kids, yeah? Makes sense. Makes sense. I don't know, innit? For me, yeah, bro, I'm a man that's grown up I could have taken certain routes, you know what I'm saying? But I've never gone certain Yeah, but well you routes. haven't. So why are you telling yeah, me you're not going to snitch? No, no, you're not. You're not. But I'm just saying, no, I'm not. Listen, what I'm saying to you yeah, is, yeah, yeah, I can only speak for myself, innit? Right. Yeah? And you got to realize, yeah, when you grow up in a certain community, yeah, there's certain things that are... Pl that there is just See there. my point. There and I'll go. explain to you why. It's mm. just more of like, let's be real, yeah? Even a lot of the man them, yeah, right, that have gone the straight and narrow, right? There's still this thing as well in the ends, knowing that them man that are on that smoke respect man as well. Or am I, 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 am I capping? That can, no, that like, can still even yeah, be amongst I'm them. Not in, I'm yeah. not in it, but, but I'm it's still, like, yo, yeah, when, but I when mean, my, when that, my that, name that gets falls mentioned... In, we fall, yeah. Just be no. real, we fall into that category. Just, just yeah, yeah, say yeah. it. So, hey, so heavy I'm, names, eh, in the end. <laughs> it's not, no, it's not heavy <laughs> names, yeah, but it's just more like, yo, like, man's still not a nerd, isn't it? Even yeah, though man's yeah, yeah, yeah. It doesn't mean... You can do a thing like with man, and then it's just like, mm, oh yeah. Don't mean you can't get your head bust. Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> it might not be on a level where like we just go out right, like looking like you got. Do you know what I'm saying? But when that smoke happens, you you protect yourself, innit? Do you know what I'm saying? So which kind of like puts you in a certain bracket? It's kind of like one foot in, mm. one foot out, innit? You know what I'm saying? Because mm. you might still finish work. The man them are chilling in the block. Like you finish your night shift or. You're nine to five, you go there, yo, what you man them saying? You might chill with them, do whatever. It's that. But one thing I always knew, yeah, right? Mm -hmm. I feel like maybe from young, innit? Because of certain circumstances that man knew, man had, yeah? I just always knew 
Bruv, you have to be one step ahead. So you see some of my brethren that might do certain things and yeah. never get in their car. Seriously? I'd rather walk. Are you, you understand? Hundred percent. You do bro. that due diligence. I'm, yeah, I'm not gonna tell them that. Yo, I'm not getting. Yeah, in I know, your car. I know that. I know but that. But you yo, think bro, like let that. me give you a lift. I'm like, no, 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 I'm gonna. I just. Do you that understand? Is, okay. and because, that's smart. That because, is smart. Because, because, yeah, I don't want us to end up in this place where, what do we do now? But you've got in a lift before, though. In what? Don't tell me you ain't jumped in a car with one of your, one of your crazy brethren. You can't, you got to remember, yeah, bro, no, can I say something? No, you can't really say that, because, bro, I've been driving since I was 19. That's true. So I've never, if anything, I've been given lifts, but I've never been the one to want, like, bro, that's a young age, bro, do you know what I'm saying? So what I always knew, setting cars, I was not getting into. Mm. You understand? And then maybe the times where you might think, okay, cool, you're, you might take certain risks or do certain things. You just know what consequences come with that, innit? Mm -hmm. But the problem is a lot of people go, they got one foot in, one foot out, but they don't want the consequences that come with that. Maybe that day I decide to go, one foot in might just be the bad day. Mm. But then they think- What do you mean by one foot in, one foot what, out? No, but what I'm saying to you, a lot of people, like I was saying to you, they're in a certain area, they're still, hang around setting bridges that okay. do setting yeah, things, yeah? yeah. yeah? Mm -hmm. But what they they think is, maybe that day I decide to go in a car with this person that does this thing, that's the day that it's a bad day. Mm -hmm. Out of 100 days, yeah, yeah. I don't go in his car, uh -huh. and that one day I decide to yeah, go in the car. Yeah, but look at this situation, exactly. Yeah, it's like, a bad day. They've been friends from like wherever. And that's what just, I'm saying yeah. to you. So sometimes I'm a bit 50-50 about where I stand because it's like, if I know someone does something and I'm in a thingy with them, then potentially I can be in trouble as well. No, but so I, I need like to protect myself. It sounds like now you're it. blaming the No, the no I'm not blaming yeah. No, no but he there needs to be honesty, but, but I'm just Uzi. saying the rules of what but I Uzi. used to I think okay, what I'm you're saying. saying to me, I think, sorry, like, I think like it's like a, it's a solution and a way to move. Yeah, because uh, yeah, I yeah, understand that's what I'm that. Saying, yeah. but, but this guy is already in this hot soup. So and how do we... Can we also just add to the fact that, remember, he said, to his knowledge, the guy has stopped. Stopped. Yeah, oh, yeah that's yeah. true. Yeah, yeah. So stopped. maybe that's why he felt comfortable that's true, going actually, in yeah. his vehicle. Do you know what I'm saying? I don't know. He's got to do what and he's got to do, bro. But, but Which what is are what? you going to do? The, what yeah, you, you said what he's got to do. He's got to sing. Why can't you sing? Why are you scared of the word snitch, He's got snitch, bro. That's him. He's got to do what he's got to do. Okay, no. Okay, what would you do? Don't ask me. I'm not in this scenario, bro. I can't answer. The whole point of what we, what we try to give this situation, we always I've told him what he needs to do. From, from our point of view, yeah. yeah God, forbid, both of you, God forbid, let's say you end up in that situation. God forbid, what would you do? What would you do? Both of you, you've already said you're gonna snitch. I'm sure your that's answer what, is that's enough my for him. Though. <laughs> my he don't need my answer. Anyway, you, right, let me give my POV. So why he just needs an answer for what person? So, as a civilian, yeah, me, I'm a lifelong civilian. By the lifelong. <laughs> I mean, I'm, you you I'm a, a lifelong civilian. civilian. Lifelong conservative. <laughs> Anyone told you different? No, listen to that. I'm a lifelong civilian, right? Yeah, I've been around a couple gangsters, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Even dibbled and dabble here yeah, and there. Yeah, I've been around a couple. <laughs> but no, for real, what I would say about this year is this is a lot of a reality of a lot of people's lives. Yeah. You know what I mean? A yeah. reality like where you don't want to be in the streets, but the streets keep calling your name. Somehow. Keep calling my somehow, name. Somehow, some way. Now, I man feel said the like... the streets keep pulling <laughs> your name. A <laughs> man sound like freaking um, Pablo Escobar. No, nah, but you see how you said this guy's gone his whole life and managed to dodge it. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. The yeah, one yeah. Time, like, bro, sometimes it's just written that you're going to be tested. <laughs> you're going to be you tested. I mean? um, the fact that his boy, so the boy that actually owns the strap and the... The drugs, yeah. The fact you're yeah, why you that. say strap, they say weapon. We don't know. It could be a, it could be a screwdriver. <laughs> 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 I went all the way to. A strap. I didn't know that you can get arrested for a screwdriver. No, no, I'm but not okay. saying, but no, but okay. you're already, weapon. You already bye. had drugs in the okay. car, so a already a weaponry. Okay. The okay. Drug. weaponry. Okay. Yeah, so they might just add weapon. We don't know where. Oh, okay, exactly. my bad. Weapon. It could be a taser. <laughs> okay, you're right. By the way, <laughs> we've just learned tasers. Yeah. Okay, a weapon. Yeah. Yeah. Why do you have that on you on your son's birthday? Uh-uh. Whoa. You think the you think the up care about where they need to come and attack you? <laughs> nah, 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 nah. Bro, What's wrong with on. this guy? No, nah, no, nah, hear me out, hear me out. Again, lifelong civilian. Maybe I don't know the rules and the protocols. Don't, you, you, you clearly don't. don't. I don't know the rules and protocols. You want about to be rolling bare bones? <laughs> I seen a brother get offed in front of his two kids, bruv. That's wild. It was wild, bro. I'm That's telling you. Have you not seen that video? No, I'm not talking what? so much about oh, the weapon. Lip. Cool. Okay. Maybe he feels. No, but I'm telling you, that's the problem. But even the narcotics, yeah, the drugs. 
it's your kid, your son's birthday bring, or your bring. son's. It don't stop. Why can't stop you have a day bring, off? Bring. Why do you have that on you? Because what if that day you were taking your son's home from the party or you had your missus, because it, it was a party, right? Maybe it was your missus, your mum. Anyone else could have been in that car. What would you have done then? Ask your mum not nah, to sleep? Trappers work seven days a week, you know. Nah, bro. I it, might, it might be more easier to get out of this situation if he was with his kids or his, his mum. But still, why would you put you them in that? Why like, would oh, you put... Bro, I'm trying to go home, but I've got my kids, nah. man. Bro, to me... Bro, come on, man. Okay, it but might be easier than... The point is, I'm not even trying to add nuance. It's more so to say, bro, it's careless. Because if you're on crud, be on crud. If you're doing family, be family. On that day, I'm not talking in general. So for that day, he could have given it a rest. <laughs> done his kid's birthday, gone home, and then re reactivated his, you know, <laughs> side job. But this is the but plant. Uh, they live in the car. I hear it. Rather the car I than the it. house. I hear it. <laughs> <laughs> they have to, these products have to live somewhere. Like, you're very well versed in these no, things. Right that. That. <laughs> you should have gone and buried it uh, somewhere, man. No, I hear it, but I still think it's careless. To go on to the fact that you and your boy have been caught, bro, just do the right thing. <laughs> do the right thing. Or at least if you don't want to snitch, again, lifelong civilian. I don't know how it works. But can he go in the, in the interview? No, no, it's okay. Wait, let's not no, use no, the word snitch. Wait, wait, no, wait, no, maybe the word snitch is frowned on. Say you told the truth. Okay. AKA <laughs> <laughs> well, okay, Me, I wait, don't wait, like dancing truth. around bushes. Wait, wait, wait. Hear me out. Let me land. The word is called let snitch. Let me land When first. you cooperate with the feds let me and land. give them the information they're needing, it's called snitching. We know it's What about whistleblowing? Can we use whistleblowing? Okay, he whistle oh, blue. He whistle blue. Yeah. <laughs> Can you? Because again, I don't know the protocols when you are in an interview room with the police. Uh, who? I Why are you I, looking at me? Because you see more of us in these things. So answer my question. When you are there with the police, they turn on one radio. <laughs> this Can is you not say, recording. They turn it on. <laughs> Can you say, sorry, sir, I have no comment. But what I will say, for him, he's innocent. But the, what, can you say that? What do you mean? I you can't say, you just say no comment. No, I'm no, not, I'm not, I'm not gonna talk anything. Uh -huh. But my man is innocent. Can I say that? Can you say who's innocent? As in the, my friend is innocent. Yeah, you can yeah. say your friend had nothing to do with yeah, it. Yeah, my friend yeah, had yeah, nothing yeah, to yeah, do. I don't know how it got there, but my no, friend. No, no, but you can say that. You're so dumb. It don't work that way, bro. You That's can't why say. Uh, I asked. There's I only two of you in the car. <laughs> yeah, you no, can't be like, oh, no, but many other people have access to my car. But let me tell you, the chances of busting that case with no, without your fingerprint on that weapon is quite high, though. It's high, yeah. It's high. Yeah. That's one. But what I'm saying. That his friend can say he had nothing to do with it on his Thank statement. You. He can. I don't know how far it will go. No, but, but, then, but then that's what they all. That, but then that's what they're both gonna say though. They're both saying mean? it ain't mine. I ain't no, no, me. I'm saying no comment. I you that it. has it say yeah. I don't have nothing to do. I with have it. nothing to do. It's with two it. different statements. That's the point he's saying. But for me personally, I think then they're gonna charge you. Who? They, he's gonna resort back to what my man didn't want to happen. If yeah, yeah. Listen, so this is not gonna happen. No, he's just no. asking a that question. I'm just asking and, and a and question. Out of goodwill. Yeah, yeah. He can. But I'm goodwill. telling you, that's how it is gonna go. Yeah, anyway. So this is what I'm trying to say. It's I'm also going like to the go same way he's telling, the, my... telling the um, telling the truth. Okay, hear me. I'm gonna go to my lifelong friend, and I'm gonna say my bad day. That's what they say in Uganda. You are my bad day. Yeah. Please go and tell those people. I had nothing to do with it. What you speak on on your own accord is for your business. Mm. If you don't say that. For me, I'm going to whistle blow. Yeah. Oh, so you're going to tell him you're going to snitch? Ha I'm going to snitch. He's Thank you. Look like a whistle blow. I am going to like snitch. Your chest. Because what you're Jack not going to... Let one. me tell you something. Ah. One thing I've learned in my long years of living, for you people that think I'm young, I'm a very old man, and I've learned this business of loyalty. Loyalty is hmm. only loyalty until it is tested. Facts. You understand? Hmm. Yes, we've been friends for 30 years, whatever many years, but bro, you've now put me in a predicament. Where we are testing the loyalty, that we, the so-called loyalty. Because to me, I don't even believe loyalty. And he's disloyal by, by knowing it's not yours. And he brought you into that situation. Exactly. Like that's the, yeah. Exactly. Because, yeah. again, I am a lifelong <laughs> civilian, may I add. I'm pretty sure criminals know when they have these things in their car. It's I not mean, something you don't man. know. Oh, oh that was there. Come <laughs> <on>. So, <laughs> is it too much to warn a brother and say, brother... Today we are, I'm driving you home. Oh, well, I'm driving hot. But we, I'm have, driving hot. we have extra passengers. Yeah. <laughs> bro. And then I bet you, Mama would have been like, you know what? Let, let me go and take a, let me go and take a public something. transport. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? What I'm saying, something will happen here. As soon as we come at that station, yeah, the blood will punch you. <laughs> you will think you had lip filler. <laughs> You know, oh, man, man. you know, you know, you have to pop every day first Brother. in the morning. You go to his house, yeah, I hear it. Oh. and just bang him. <laughs> yeah, bro. I hear it. Because let me bro, tell you, you have to do the right thing, bro. I no, no. bro, you it's have to punch long, him up every like day. All black boys in London, or growing up in England, sorry, can relate. Yeah, mm. we all have reached that crossroad of do we go 
down on the road yep. and make this quick money mm-hmm. or do mm. we go legit? Mm. And going legit is a very difficult road. Very difficult. You go through many trials and tribulations. <laughs> you don't get to do the APs that everyone has, the Rollies, the Dubai trips, the, the baddies. You don't get to do none of that stuff. You have to go and work stack shelves. You have to go and do whatever you got to do. And, and even if you, even even when you have when you have the money to even do some of those things, you still can't. You're do thinking those twice because yeah. it's like, Fredo, it's not I a good investment. Hell, exactly. Nah, so I've made it to twenty nine. Kind of cool. If I was sixteen, maybe I can ride the bird for you. You know, I'm twenty nine. I've made it. No, nah, I'm not doing that, bro. I'm ten snitching. years. I'm snitching. You're probably gonna do ten years I'm or so. Bro. Nah, bro. I'm snitching. This is why I don't understand, bro. Bro, just. Show you like if he's your guy for real. I know obviously you lot are best friends. I get it, but mm-hmm. if he genuinely has the love for you, yeah, he wouldn't put you in. Put in he would do the right thing. He would do, do the, the right, right thing, thing bro. bro. But uh, obviously, based on the situation and him not doing the right thing, my friend, you're gonna have to. You won't be able bro. to travel. Every country you're gonna try to go to, they're gonna ask you, "Do you have a criminal record, yep. bro?" Do you know what I mean? Every girl you meet, that she's, you're gonna have to tell her this is the bro, thing. Any job you're gonna, altering, bro. bro. Nah. How are you going to give this up for a guy just because you went nursery with him? So how many people did you go nursery with that you don't even know their name? And apart from that, he's already yeah. had a, he's already has kids. Exactly. He already has kids. He's 30. So guess what? Yes, he might not be there for them. But then if he knew he wanted they to be visit. there for them, if he knew what they were... Th- again, th- that, that takes me into this other conversation of like, what j- I don't know what you lot think in it. Because most drug dealers or whatever that do, they'll tell you, oh, I'm doing this for my family. Lies. What's your lot's take on that? Lies. When is it? Lies. As, p- as someone that knows... These people that, like, I've even got people in my family that have, you know, dibbled and dabbled. Dibbled and dabbled? It's a lie. Mm. It's a front. Mm. Because no one asks you to go and do this. Mm-hmm. At the end of the day, if you don't have it, we'll understand. Mm-hmm. Yes, we might look at you some way, some way if you've got kids and you can't provide for them. Mm-hmm. But no one will ever want you to go and do that because there are jobs, bro. There are there legit are jobs. jobs. They will not pay you as much as they pay these, uh, you know, how much you get You're from making, doing your yeah. illegal activities. But, bro, there are other ways. So I never rate a man that says, I'm doing it for my kids. No, you're doing it for the lack of accountability that you have for yourself hmm. and the lack of, like, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? The la- it's almost like the lack of effort. You're lazy. You want the glamour. You're lazy. You want to go through the, 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 the quick route. Do you get what mm-hmm. I'm saying? And you almost want to impress your boys as well. Because most girls aren't impressed by this. But what do you mean? <laughs> nah, man. Man, them do it to impress their boys, bro. You what, are you look, talk, what are you talking about? Oh, you want to look hard, bro. By this? What, what bro. are you trying Have you been around man that have got a trap line? That's what they talk about. What? No, but what their I'm saying line. is... Oh, my gosh, no, my line's going I'm off. I'm not my disputing that part, kind of, what are you, you talking saying about? girls are not impressed by that? No, I'm not saying girls are not. But I'm saying in general, if you're going to find a good, decent, law-abiding citizen female... So are you saying girls that go for trappers are not good, law-abiding physicians? No, they're not. If you go for a trapper knowing he traps, you're not... Come on. I just wanted to know if you're going to save your chest. That's why I did that. Oh, I've got chest. I'm going to use it, bro. These men do it, yeah, to get accolades from their boys. No, no, I don't think it's boys. I think most girls that will go for guys like that, it's not like they're not, um, what's that word called? It's not that they're not they're good, not good girls. people. They just have some sort of that thing in them as well. I don't they're know not good people then. They're, they're girls that don't so you're saying all trappers are not good. You're saying trappers are not good people? They're not. Oh, Why? I rate that. I rate because that. You're, you're putting your life at risk for the sake of money, yeah? So your whole family is at risk because they could lose you. Anything could happen to you. Do you know what I'm saying? Anything could happen to them. To them. I'm because of say, you. Yeah, I'm about to say yeah. you're missing out that And part. you're telling me yeah. that, that makes them... Nah, they're, mm-hmm. not, they're not good people. I feel like they're going to do that, yeah. You should move to another country and start a new life there and just communicate with your family. Like, <laughs> like I don't think you should be doing that around... No, I don't know. Because I'm saying if you choose that, you have to go and go down that route. Because... I genuinely think is one of is some of is some of the most selfish decision you can ever make. Yeah. Because you're putting everything around you at risk, at immediate risk, bro. I mean, are you, how many men you heard the situation? No, no, that, I can't their lie mom's to. yard got licked off, no, no, pawned up. No, how many times you heard that? I'm, so I'm, why should the mom be I'm, getting I'm, like? I'm, yeah, I'm, bro. I, I wouldn't. Many, I wouldn't necessarily Uzi, wait, say that. Uzi, wait. How many times? How many times you heard a situation where man them run up in the next man's yard? And ended up killing the wrong. Maybe they killed the brother. Or the, how many times you heard can that? We, you know what it is here? Can we? Can I? Can I rephrase here? Yeah? I wouldn't fully say they're not good people. No, yeah? no, that's not, I'm not gonna say no, that. No, but and I explained to you why. Yeah? Some, I explained. Um, I explained to you why. Decision. Yeah. I explained to you why. Yeah. Again, one one thing I'll start with is yeah. You don't know no one's life circumstances in it. Yeah. That's one. Yeah. Two. You don't know the reason why someone got into something. Right. 
Where I now feel like there's an issue is, yeah, all right, cool. You've been doing something. You're making money. You're doing whatever you're doing, yeah, is at what point do you draw the line and say, you know what, I need an exit plan in terms of, no, no, I'm just saying like. That don't work. Bec bro. No, what I'm, bruv, I'm not saying that doesn't work, yeah. You don't know people's circumstances no, of saying, why no, they I have gotten into saying. something, yeah. No, so I wouldn't really me. say. But you saying, oh. I've seen it enough. Is unrealistic. Like it's not real. In ideally, but it is doable. No, what I'm saying, I agree. I'm not disputing that. Ideally, yeah, you would think, yeah, exit plan, whatever, do do do. But it never happens in most cases. Most is like is is like you know when you know that this is all you've done all your life. Like is the quickest money you can make. Like the man is addictive. You're addicted to doing that. So like, gonna go and try and do a normal job, getting paid. You gotta wait till the end of the month, like everybody else to get <coughs> paid. You're like, is a life to you that you just don't understand. What the hell is this? Nah, yeah. I've got. That's I why most time, man, are always. Then even when they go, even when you see the ones that even try, that nah, I'm gonna get a job. You find out that within a month or two or three, even then now you see they're doing both. Bro, I know, guys. I'm telling you, before nah, you know I it, they, they start slipping back and start doing bit by bit on the on side. On reflection, you're right. I, I, it's probably bad for me to generalise. I'm not going to say... Yeah, that's that, but all, yeah. All, all, all trappers are not good people. Yeah. Mm. But to DT's point, I don't see... You, when you get into that game, it's very hard to leave, bro. <laughs> because even when you've been in it five years, when you go now for employment, what are you going to tell them? They're going to ask you what you've been doing for five Gaps. years. Gaps. <laughs> There's a big gap. Do you know what I mean? They don't see you struggling. You didn't claim benefits. So you've been sustaining yourself somehow. It's, it, it all becomes difficult. All right. So, so, so are we... All right. Put it this way, yeah. What's your reasoning for saying they're not good people or we think they're not good Sorry, people? I've just Pl taken plus that Plus you're back. forgetting the part also, yeah, that whatever the... I know some people... Did this one is good to host a different argument, but my viewpoint on it is that also you're forgetting the fact that they are peddling poison into their community. That's another part also that... You know, some, some people will say, oh, if I don't sell it to them, somebody else will type of thing, innit? By the end of the day, how about you? But what, what is about you? The, what, what is your morals like? Because mm. if everybody think like, nah, I would not peddle this poison into my community. If everyone thinks that way, well, then there'll be no one to sell it to them, right? Mm. So that means, and this obviously this applies to everyone that morally, that, you know, they're morally corrupt. Like, let's be honest with ourselves. What do you, what, what good do you think this is doing for this person, for this community? How many times do you walk around here yeah, on the street or in certain areas and you just see crackheads everywhere, bruv? Like, don't get, like, yo, like, you walking around sometimes, like, thinking, like, yo, you contributed to that. Like, you're part of the reason why that person's like that. I, a lot of these I, think, I think a lot of people, normally, when you start doing a certain thing, people just get numb, innit? And that's why I was saying they get numb mm. to certain things, innit? Yeah, that's what in I'm saying. Because you're that's in why, it. That's why. Because you're in it. A lot of that's how you program your mind to think is normal. Because no, of that's why. You Especially when you're getting the money. It's comfortable to just roll that's around, a, drive around with weapons and what. All right. So back to my what I was gonna say is yeah, because obviously since we're on this topic of oh bad people and did 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 yeah. So what about people that manipulate people, get money out of them, finesse people, do all these things? Yeah, are they all bad people? Yeah, well, I love scammers. That's a crime. No, 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 because what well, I think the is people that scam, the only, like the only thing we have against yeah. people that sell drugs is they're poisoning the community. Yeah. But there are people that are also doing certain things that... It's not just that poisoning the community. There's other, like I said, no, there's but I'm so just saying, Are we, we putting like anyone that does family, certain things that kind of into kind of a stuff. bad bracket or are we picking? If you do anything, yeah, that... Hurts on someone else. You're not a good person, bro. There's, I don't know how you can justify it. No, but then I also <laughs> think, I think to his point, yeah, let's... Wait, yeah, okay, no, wait. No, uh, like, here's the thing now, uh, right? Let, let's be honest with ourselves. Let's let's have a quick conversation around this. Mm. In life in itself, yeah, I, the way I look at things, in my opinion, is like, is, is everything is all scales, isn't it? Mm -hmm. That's how I look at it. Yeah. I feel like there's scales, and with the scale of whatever action or act it is, I think that th there's consequences you know, to match wherever it is. Mm -hmm. Obviously, that's the reason why you have a law system in place mm -hmm. where if you commit murder, you know, unless you have money, money to fight, you know what I mean, you know, wherever it is, but there's a certain level of penalty for that. So, you know, you're probably not going to get the same thing as for someone that um, petty crime, someone that's going to steal sweets from a shop. Does that make sense what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. So the point I'm making is that to everything you do, there's a scale of stuff to it. And then we've lived on this earth long enough to know that there ain't no one human being on this planet that's perfect. Mm -hmm. We all 
do something that other might look and be like, uh, that's wrong. Do you get what I'm talking about, isn't it? However, are you going to compare everything? Are you going to compare apples and oranges? Are you going to compare grapes? And, do you understand what I'm talking about? So, for example, like, okay, let's look at sales. If I'm a salesman and I'm able to manipulate and, and persuade you into buying something that you're not really trying to buy, are you going to say I'm a bad person? Compared to like, are you going to, or are you going to say I'm as bad as somebody that's selling drugs? To, like, do you know what I'm talking about? Like, it just depends how you want to look at it. Mm. I don't know, innit? Like, but you I can't... mean, you ain't got more great moral compass, but I wouldn't say I don't you're, know, you're yeah, a bad person. Person. I just feel like... I'm not going to put you on the same... get to those bracket. gates of heaven... I don't think they will be selective of what crime you committed. Is but you also don't know person. that. No, no, no. I don't think I don't think it's that clear cut though. Because if it was left to me, would that I, I would hold those governors in Africa hostage <laughs> and collect money from them. I don't think I would be a bad person for doing that. Interesting. Why would you say that's what they deserve? Why, Why do you say that? Because they're criminals. But they have family. So, but they have yeah. And what do you mean they have family? You're holding them. Yeah, up. because yeah. they yeah because. They're living nice, and the rest of the the thing is is struggling. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. But then, but then in the thing, it will tell. In the Bible, it will also tell you though. Mm. Just because somebody's done wrong, that don't mean you should do wrong too. Mm. Someone I mean, will come with I that mean, argument. I will still be able to sleep at night. <laughs> See, that, okay, there you go. And that's what I'm saying. And I think it all boils down to exactly. Because people are criminals, bro. It boils that's down why. to exactly what you yeah. just said right now. Mm. Everybody like depends who you do it to, yeah. and almost depends on what. Do you know what I mean? There's what certain people that they, that the whole world is demonized so badly. Like if you kill them. The world will celebrate you. Yeah. Mm. While you can kill somebody else and then you go to jail. Yeah. Like it, it's just all about context and what it is. Mm. <laughs> like by the way, you about. can go and fight for one army and be praised, but if you go and fight for another, you'll be deemed. Yeah, you're, you're a terrorist. Yeah, I exactly. Do you understand yeah. what I'm saying to you now? So I mean, with this one, bro, I think it doesn't even come down to whether he's good or bad. The fact is yeah. he did his boy dirty. He did it dirty. He did That's his it. boy dirty. So and by giving him putting his boy in a, a his own moral dilemma. <laughs> yeah. To me, it shows there's no loyalty. The Dang. fact that you as a friend have to write in and say, what do you think I should do? I think you know what you need to do, bro. Mm. Go on that stand and say, your honor. <laughs> <laughs> this man is innocent. It wasn't me. I came into that car. I'm an innocent bystander. I don't know if you go into detail as to why you feel like my man's guilty, but definitely protest your innocence. If bro. you're in court, you need to go into detail. That's where you go <laughs> into <laughs> detail. You'd be like, listen, <laughs> he was doing this shit bro, way back. I was just there. <laughs> so basically, I'm going to tell you like I met this guy. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, you have nah, to in court. Look, and I know online, man, them are going to chat. I don't care, bro. Snitches, them man are snitches. I do not bro, care. Bro, who's a snitch? Man. That's what they will say to, oh, me and DT, okay. He's the yeah, one that said he was a snitch. Yeah, I don't care. I didn't tell you I didn't if say anything. A man I say that I know, way if do, a yeah. man that I've known from um, nursery mm. or wherever it is, and you say we're like this, and you put me in that predicament knowing I've done everything in my life not to go down that road, and yeah, you bro. don't even try to... Because I feel like even you in that life, I feel like it's your responsibility to protect, protect the everyone around, around you. you. Yeah. Like, bro, you should even let me get in that car. By like, the let's be way. honest with ourselves. Like, bro, no, don't worry. Go and take this, By bro. The I way. Got, my car is hot right now. I stayed take to help you, you know clean. I, mean? I stayed leave. to help you clean, bro. Parties. This guy nah, stayed and helped that. him clean. I'm oh. giving you uh, alter, I'm giving you a deadline. You're my boy. You better tell the truth or somebody will be telling the truth. Uh, no, I know who that person him is. up every day, hot beating. Uh, First thing uh, in the morning. Why is someone you can't beat up? What exactly. do you mean? Oh, look at that. You think it's everyone you can beat up? Beat if you have one Debo as a best friend, what are you going to do? But to be fair, the whole area would have heard the story that was happening. Uh, so it, would be, it might be hot for but him. But you'll be it's funny. The whole area, let's say, okay, you see they say a lot of people get judged in the court of public opinion. If this scenario was read out to the ends, all the ends, Peckham, Mm. South Kilban, mm. uh, Homerton, Hackney, where <laughs> I guarantee you 99% of the man would say you can't snitch. That's good so for them. So maybe we gotta take it to the streets. <laughs> that's good for them. Is it? We gotta take the, this that's cover right to in. the blocks. That's let, a let me in. show you what is magic. The, the problem is that yeah, why what you what you have to start the older you get, you start to realize certain things that people just chat shit. Yeah, they do. They people literally grow do. up with a mentality, mm. and they live by that, and they chat shit. And they shit. think it's gospel. Yeah, yeah, and they literally believe this is it. Because Until bro, they're in their same shoes. shoes. <laughs> then you see that when I snitch Then they start singing. And you see what's no, going no, on no. with this YSL situation. Everyone who's doing all of this, all this by stuff, the way, this they're signs, all singing right now. I don't know the signs they be all doing. All of them are all so, eating so so teriyaki and special fries singing right now. Singing is it by, <laughs> so wait, wait, wait. Singing is it by mouth. What do you mean? 
What is snitching? You is can it? snitch by a rap song. I'll do a whole wait, 16 wait, telling wait, the whole story. You... So you... Wait, wait. So if I say he sees it, that is snitching, isn't it? What do you mean? He what? If I go and talk with my mom, say he's the one that is snitching, yeah. Course, yeah. then I tell her to bring pen and paper. I write in my yeah, eyes. Statement <laughs> even worse. That's, that's even worse. I don't statement speak, I write. Right. And this is the thing you say, you can say I never said yeah, it. Like but when you, you write, write it, it down, you can't say but you But those did, people taking it worse. in there, right? They're taking down the statement. No, but you're not the one that wrote it. They wrote what you mean? It. Well, if you they take down the statement, bro. No, but they wrote the it. The thing is recording. No, they wrote it. Guy, they wrote, I don't know what they wrote no, inside bro. the statement. They wrote it. No, oh, yeah, but then... Uh, but, but no, but you're trying to talk about, oh, if I write it down, so that has even worse. No, but, it's not, because, bro, somebody could have written that's that. That's your own stuff. No, bro, someone could right, have okay, written that. Listen, right but when you recorded forth, your voice... Without going back your, when you record your voice and your... Bro, even you in that situation, that, yeah, bro. of YSL, bro... It is a good. It is a good example of example. why you should never tie your loyalty to another human. Another human, human being. Ah, humans. They will disappoint they you. They might be doing this slack. They might got tied all over their face. And then slack, he will start, he will start telling you. Bro, you are checking kid. their pulse. <laughs> <laughs> Because a man could not believe huh? how much he was snitching. Huh? He thought maybe he died. Because <laughs> he, he had to see. Am I still breathing, brother? Bro? <laughs> the guys that you thought were this guys. The head gang, the head honcho. And you know what's mad? If you not go back, because you know me, I love a lot of them old gangster stories. I yeah. watch Brown. When you go back in history, yeah. Frank Lucas. A lot of them old mob and all of that is usually the leader that, that snitches. Sings. He snitches on the whole crew. Yeah, and, and then they get immunity. Yeah, immunity. <laughs> <laughs> and you uh, don't want me to come and nah, sacrifice bro. my life? Nah, you're moving mad. Bro, snitch. That's what I was saying. Look at Sukali, he's just owning it. But now you are doing bad boy hairstyle. The man is wearing mustard wait, 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 teriyaki. Wait, 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 wait. Is it? Me, if I was doing pushing pebbles, you can love me my car. Wait. It would be the reason why. Look at him doing bad boy hairstyle. Imagine Sukali in jail. Huh? Imagine him in wow, jail. Why we hey, why? God no, but he's got, he's got bad boy hairstyle though. Who? This is the hairstyle That's for when those worse. police, when those police look inside your car, it's like, yeah, oh, so, how, how you doing? Yeah. Is this, you got nah, bad boy look. But what I'm saying is that, God forbid, if he ends up in jail, bro, I'm look at him, he will last. I will last. So Carly will start tying his um, thingy. Yeah. <laughs> bro, the bad boy in jail. Ask my... <laughs> Oh man, that's dumb. <laughs> anyway, my brother, I hope you've got the advice you need. Yeah, 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 so what we are saying is um whistle blow. <laughs> no yeah. Blow, blow whistle the blow, whistle. Tell on him, whatever you want to call it. Whatever you <laughs> want to call it, but you know what you <laughs> can put, give a statement. Eventually he will be apprehended. <laughs> <laughs> In no particular uh, order. By the way, my guard yeah. does not sleep. So why not? Oh, God will get you, bro. He will do the revenge. Don't worry. After how many house you've broken, you think your God is listening to you? Of course he is, man. <laughs> yeah, he is. God forgive. He said, did I hear somebody speak? <laughs> <laughs> no, sir. No, sir. Thank you. Thanks for listening to the In My Opinion podcast. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Until next time, peace.